Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. So in last Friday's video, I wore my hair very similar to this and you guys loved it. I somehow managed to have a magical hair day and my hair came out really good, but very different from how I normally style it. I had done a couple of things different. Lee, different Lee is correct grammar, right? And so, so many of you asked for a tutorial on the style and so many of you also asked for an updated hair care routine that I look back in my videos to see when the last time I did one was. And it was over a year and a half ago in February 2018. So that was definitely before I started using the Hair Max, the laser headband that I use to help with my menopausal hair loss. I think back then I was still using minoxidil. And because I think it is part of it, I'm going to include it in the upstairs part when I show you from going from um, towel dried hair all the way through to getting the style. So there will be a tutorial up in my bathroom in a couple of minutes. My shampoo and conditioner have changed. My leave-in products have changed. My hair color has changed. So anyway, the first thing that had changed was definitely the Hair Max. Before I started using that, my hair was looking really very thin. Um, I couldn't really get it to style very well. I couldn't really get it to grow very long. Here's a picture from one of the videos from that time frame when I was just so like, oh my gosh, my hair, this menopausal thing, it's driving me crazy. And um, that has made a huge difference. Then the other things that we're not going to talk about upstairs because, you know, you can't come in my shower with me is my shampoo and conditioner. So I had changed about mm, six or nine months ago over to the Briogeo Be Gentle, Be Kind line, superfood shampoo and conditioner and I was using them both in combo and I was pretty happy with them um, and I really love this shampoo this is the matcha and apple replenishing superfood shampoo and of course this is sulfate free silicone free paraben free and I just love how my hair comes out with this my hair uh, as some of you may know, tends to be really frizzy. My hair is super fine, but there's a lot of it, and when it's humid out, it's really frizzy. And I struggled with the frizz for years and years. I was always switching out shampoos and conditioners to find the next great frizz-free product that would help with that. And I felt like this was like the biggest leap for me in shampoo and conditioner. And originally I was using the conditioner that went with this, and I was pretty happy with it. Um, I liked it a lot. I felt like it also helped with the frizz. But back in April, I was gifted a new hair product from Colleen Rothschild at the Reward Style conference that I went to. And I have never fallen so hard for a hair product as I have for this in my entire life. It was like love at first use. That's how good this is. And I jettisoned the <laughs> the conditioner of this right away. I mean, I'm still using it. I have a full bottle of it. I am going to use it up over time, but anytime that I want my hair to come out like really looking good, this is what I use, and I feel like the condition of my hair is so much better since I started using this. So this is the Colleen Rothschild Quench and Shine Restorative Mask, and this basically has a ton of like butters in it and oils, and it's the conditioner that I use after this. So the only thing I don't like about it is that it's in a tub. I you know, wish it was in some kind of a pump bottle, but I've had this since April. I've used it every shampoo, and that's how much I've used up, and it's now mid-June, so two and a half months. I've only used an eighth of this, so this thing will last forever. You can use this as a mask or as an everyday conditioner. I use it as an everyday conditioner, and I love it, although I don't shampoo my hair every day. I love the smell of it. I love how soft and shiny it makes my hair. I mean, I wish you guys could just reach right through my camera right now and feel my hair because it's so soft and it's so shiny all the time. So anyway, then onto the leave-in conditioner. This is what I've been using as my leave-in product. It's the Colleen Rothschild Smooth and Shine Hair Serum. It was a package with um, this small size of the leave-in treatment and this full size of the conditioner plus a little brush. But she just launched these as separate items, which is great because I only have the one ounce of this guy and I definitely need more of this. And so now she's offering a three ounce of this. So since I started using this, this has replaced three different hairstyling products. My hair is just so much lighter and fluffier and soft and nice using these two. So anyway, as you can tell, I'm completely in love with them. My hair color, that's one thing that has pretty much stayed the same, except that that I did switch one of my boxes to a different color, a different type, because the other one I think was maybe discontinued. This is what I color my gray roots with every time I need to do the gray coverage. And so this is like a they ship it to you service, you go online, you take a quiz. It is professional permanent hair color and so it covers your grays. It lasts a really long time. So that's how I color my roots. Now I used to use a different box 
color for my highlights, but I, as I said, I think that one was being discontinued. So now I'm using a different product from L'Oreal. This is the Touch On Highlights in H90 Iced Champagne. And I really love this one. I think the highlights come on great. And I love this little finger thing that comes in the box. Oh, here's a bigger picture of it. I pick a tiny section and then I just hold it up and I slide this finger thing up and down on it and I never take it all the way to the roots. So that's how I color my hair. I tried the Dyson Air Wrap. I'm now using that because I did a review on that too. We'll link that here. It's a funny review. You guys should watch it if you haven't already. And I wasn't too thrilled with like the Air Wrap part of it, but I fell in love with like the paddle brush part. And I've been using that since. And then the curling wand that I use is an old one. That's something that has not changed. That's the InStyler. So let's head up to my bathroom. All right, you guys, welcome to my bathroom. I'm just out of the shower. Um, you guys want to know everything that I'm doing with my hair, so I'm going to start from the very beginning when I take it out of the towel and it's still wet. So basically what I do is I just take a wide tooth comb and I run it through the top of my hair because I'm going to use my Hair Max next. This is my hair regrowing headband that I use. And uh, I've done a couple of videos on it, so if you want to check those out, I will link them. And I think it's really helped a lot with regrowing my hair, especially at the temples where I was having a little bit of, you know, menopausal hair loss. And also, I think it's helped to make my hair a lot fuller. So I just put it on. I want to treat really the front sections. I turn it on. It's a 90 second cycle, so it'll go um, 30 seconds here, and then I'll slide it back 30 and back 30. So. Um, rather than do the whole 90 seconds, I'll just fast forward through this part. I do have a discount code on this. It's good until the end of June, so it's only a good another 10 days or so. It's for 10% uh, off any HairMax laser device. The link for that is in the information box. I've got a code you have to use with my link. And you can get 10% off if you're thinking of buying one of these. They're pretty expensive. Um, but I do find it very effective. So that's the end of the cycle. And then I just press it twice to turn it off. So this is what I'm using for my leave-in conditioner currently. It is the Colleen Rothschild Smooth and Shine Hair Serum. I love this. I'm an instant convert. It smells so good. I usually do about two pumps of that. It's a pretty clear little oil and it makes my hair so manageable, so frizz-free, smells so good. And I just take a big wide tooth comb and comb through. You guys, I don't know if you can see the top of my head, my gray roots are huge. So I do need to color them. I've actually got a couple of products that I'm gonna try this week for that. So I've got a Revlon Root Erase, and I've also got Clairol Root Touch Up, so I'm going to be doing a Try It Tuesday on those in a couple of days, but you can't use it on freshly washed hair, or else I would be trying them right now, so I'll probably try them tomorrow. But in the meantime, I use this EverPro Beauty Gray Away Root Touch Up Quick Stick, and it's just like a giant crayon, and I use it to color over my roots, so I'm just going to do that in the mirror over here. All right, for my blowout, I do use my Dyson Air Wrap with the uh, rough blow attachment. I usually put the air at high and the heat at high just to start doing the rough blowout. I do blow all my bangs forward down onto my forehead because I have two really big cowlicks here and my hair wants to go up and over and up and over. So in order to trade it down, I have to start blowing it down right from the start. So next I use the paddle brush attachment. And I use with this with the air on medium. I find that if I put the air on high, it blows my ends around too much. Usually I would go under and pull this up, which would be working into my cowlick. And on Wednesday, I decided to just go all straight down and really bend it over to the side. And then if it's still a little puffy, I go with the air on low and the heat on cool, and I just brush through everything with the cool setting. This has really changed 
my entire blowout so that I can just do a regular blowout. And even on like a super humid rainy day like today, using the Colleen Rothschild products and this, my hair isn't frizzy. So I just love this thing. I know it's expensive, but it has really made a difference. Certainly I don't expect everybody to have one of these or be able to afford one of these, but you can just do your standard blowout like you would with a little bend at the ends. And just the thing is to bend this under instead of going underneath. For the curly part, I have used my InStyler, and I've had this guy for years, so I'm going to turn around and do this in the mirror so you can see, but the main difference between how I usually do my hair with this is that I started the curls up higher in last week's video, and I think that's what made, the come out, that made them come out better because usually I start them down around here. I think I just took pretty much like this front shorter section right here as just one little section. I put this up and over my head and then I just wrapped it around. So I held that for like eight or 10 seconds and then let it out. And that is first little curl. And I pretty much take everything in front of my ear and do the same, just wrap it around there. And you also want to make sure that you hold the ends out so that the ends aren't getting curled so that they'll stay a little straighter. Usually I'll curl this in with this section, but I kept this out separate and started it higher last time. Okay, and then I will let those cool and air dry for a bit, and then I usually leave the curler on because then sometimes I'll go around and take like a little top section if I want a little more curl up here, and just to break those up a little bit. I just kind of go in with my fingers loosen things up a little bit. Kind of push everything forward. I think the back looks good when the back's all together. Right. I feel like just kind of right in here I could use just, you know, so I'll just pick up like a little piece up here and curl it separately a little higher up. I feel like these are all good over here, but maybe this was like one section that was just a little too big. So I'm just gonna go and divide that one off. All right, so that's pretty much as close as I can get it to what it was like last week. So hopefully that's pretty good. And then I hit it with my favorite hairspray, which is uh, Soy Touchable Healthy Sexy Hair. And I don't really spray the top. I really just spray from underneath to get the curls to last. So I think that's the look you guys are going for or asking for and I hope that you'll be able to recreate it at home. So that's it for today's video everybody. I sure hope you found it helpful and informative. If you like the video go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. As always thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate you watching. I hope you have a great day and I will see you in the next video. Take care everybody. Bye-bye.